Hey folks, Kyle here at Ace in the Desert. Welcome back to another episode of Counting is Hard. Uh, today, it's been a while since I've recorded a video. Today we're going to do something a little different, and we're going to play one of these daily uh, match point day-long tournaments. It's eight boards. We're compared against about 1,000, 2,000 people who play, and we're just going to try to do like good, normal bridge logic things, uh, predict our score on each board, and see how we do versus the provisional. Um, hopefully that leads to us doing pretty well in the tournament. So uh, without further ado, play along. Hope you have some fun, and let's get to it. So we pick up a 15 count, uh, 2362. Uh, six diamonds. Uh, it's pretty reasonable here to either open a diamond or open one no trump. The modern style is to probably just open this one no trump. Uh, 6322 two type hands are pretty much balanced. Uh, sometimes there's, like, a flaw on your double ten, like, uh, you know, like, this is, like, a bad double ten, but I'm often, like, if partner can't transfer to a major, like, you can assume they have your, you know, your weakness in a minor covered, so I don't really think this is that much a flaw. If partner, uh, has, like, short clubs and they have, like, a five card major, like, the only time we really lose is if partner has, like, you know, four diamonds and is, like, let's say, like, three, three, four, three, you know, or something really like that. Um, oftentimes we're protected because partner will transfer to spades or hearts with, you know, uh, with a shapely hand. Otherwise, they'll generally have four cards and clubs on average. Uh, and it's not usually that big deal. Uh, especially because, like, one no float, like, they'll often lead their, um, they'll often lead fourth best from their major. Like, often four, four, three, two is a common starting shape. Uh, and I'll also equal, they'll, like, lead the major on, like, a one no pass out auction. So I'm gonna actually open this one no. Um, if you wanna open this a diamond, totally reasonable. Uh, here, lefty showing a single student hand. Could be anything. They're playing the Capaletti Convention. Partner is transferring to spades. We're forced to accept the transfer. Um, partner is showing 5-5 five, five in the majors game force. We're going to accept in hearts. So West probably has single suited clubs at this point. And partner gets to play for hearts. Um, he has at least six clubs. So let's say six. Let's say seven, four, two, oh, 4 2 is like a likely shape. I think that's pretty reasonable. And we have six diamonds, which covers three of our spade losers. So we have one spade loser to get rid of, and we want to play hearts for the least amount of losers. Uh, this is a little scary. Um, only because, like, if hearts are 4 1, we could be in trouble. So, uh, you'll notice I can shed three club losers or th three spade losers on my diamonds. I'm thinking of actually just ducking this first trick so I don't lose jump control, because you can imagine a world where it goes, like, uh, four of clubs, rough. Um, I cross to the board in diamonds and lead a trump, and they win, and they play another club, forcing me to rough, and then uh, this hand's kind of over. Uh, if trump are 4-1, because I'm going to... I'm going to lose Trump control and they're going to run a bunch of clubs and it's going to be disaster. I mean, they will, they'll get like, you know, uh, it'll be pretty disasterific. Like, uh, they'll get something like, uh, a club in the end and actually I'm not analyzing this very well. Uh, but it's very bad to lose Trump control. So I can retain Trump control by just ducking this club. Then, then when they turn another club like this, I rough. Um, and I could lead out a diamond, but I, Trump are likely 4-1, because West has the known, uh, West is the known heart short, because they have six vacant spaces and clubs, so we're going to duck a heart. That's actually bad for me. Uh, now Trump are splitting 3-2, so I look stupid. Uh, but the good news is I don't have to take a Kness anymore, unless diamonds are 4-0. And we go to this spade loser, we made five. So if we cross in diamonds and poke the heart, uh, we do better. Uh, like, I was never going to take the spade finesse because we can get rid of the spade loser. The problem is if the heart finesse loses, uh, there could easily be a diamond rough back to best. And, like, this gets really bloody. So I took kind of, like, a safe line. Uh, I can always make an over trick. Uh, especially because Trump three 3-2. And with king and one inside, I can, like, rough a trick one. Uh, do very well here. So this is probably a bad board. Uh, that's interesting. I'm going to predict like 25% on that. I chose more of an imp line. I'm an imp player. Because screw match points. Uh, Alright, so 
We got, and, you know, and, and blinds at match points can be good too. Uh, simply because, like, guaranteeing, you know, an average-ish result, uh, avoiding zeros is kind of a lot of a logic at winning match points, like, especially a long event with, like, so you're playing a two, three-day national pair event, like, avoiding zeros is the key. <laughs> uh, you need to be good enough to get above average as well, but avoiding zeros is going to protect your score um, at the high levels. Okay, so we get a 15 count, 4-2, four, 4-3. Four, We're going to open this one now. Partner bids stamen. We're going to show our spades. Partner chooses 3-0. No. Let's count our tricks. Uh, we probably are losing four spades. Four, imagine 4-4-3-2. Four, 4-3 four, three, four, three is the most common spade break here. Uh, we got four clubs, three diamonds, the ace of hearts. Uh, if diamonds are 3-3, three, three, we have our knife trick there. Or we can take the heart finesse. Um, so I'm going to win this like this. I'm false carding that I don't have the ace. Uh, maybe something good will happen. So I'm gonna lead out the Jack of Hearts and duck it. I don't want to induce a cover there because uh, I'm in a whole lot of hell basically. Uh, you know I want to incur. I don't want them to cash spades. Spades could be five four two two instead. So I really could just lead out the Queen. There's no reason not to. If they play the ten here, like I'll hop. So he has four clubs. Four four three two. Diamond pitch over here. This hand's more likely to have diamond length because they do not have four clubs. Uh, this hand's basically over. They, they cover that, which is kind of expected. We're going to play at the last club, maybe the pitch of diamond. Be kind. And we're going to hope to steal. Uh, if West has one more diamond, we're going to probably make uh, one over trick. Diamonds are 3-3. Three, three. So West had four clubs, three diamonds. We don't know how many hearts. Uh, they're four three in spades, and four three. They're four. They have four or three spades. Uh, three diamonds, four of the diamond, four of the four clubs. So let's say they have four clubs, four spades. Uh, three diamonds and two hearts. Is that a bridge shape? That would be four triple three. But their second or third heart. No, they were four, four, three, two, or four, triple, three. Okay. So counting is hard. Like this is not information I need to norm. This is not normal level of information I normally process in hand. The way I compartmentalize things is weird. Uh, but this is like practice for us, and we're trying to like be smart and uh do these things actively. So when it does matter, we have that capability. Uh, I'm gonna predict seventy five percent of that. Like, we got an over trick. I mean, diamonds are always 3-3, three, three, so maybe that's not... It's probably more like 50... 50 I'm going to say 55%. Um, if I if diamonds were 4-2 and I actually stole a trick, it would be better. Okay, so we're still below average. Uh, 16 count, 5-4-0-4. Oh, four. We're going to open spade. Partner bids a forcing one, no. Uh, if we played, like, a conventional, like, Zilly here, uh, there's... So some people have a forcing inquiry of two clubs there to ask partner for points. I don't have that available. So uh, I can probably just rebid a four-card suit. I don't have a 17 count to force the game. Uh, though the shape is, like, nice. Um, but partner could just have, like, a six count with long diamond. So I should anticipate the misspin and go low. A bit too hard. Spinning a three hearts on this hand, not totally crazy. Uh, if we have a hard fit, it's obviously we go. We go partner with, like, a random eight count. We'll, like, Bump two hearts, three hearts, most of the time. Uh, partner shows doubleton spade preference, less than four hearts, generally. So we're just going to play two spades, probably make three. Partner has diamond wastage for certain at this point. General Partner has four hearts. Robot's just bad here. Like, this is, this should, they should just simple race spades, and we'd be in four spades. Uh, but partner thought this was kind of less than a raise, that some people play constructive raises, so they don't directly raise with, like, their bad hands. I think you should just, personally, I just think you should pass, or you should raise. <laughs> uh, these constructive raises are very bad when they get, when interference comes in, because it's, like, just harder to evaluate. Uh, we're gonna put the nine in. Playing the jack could block the Sioux. We want to lead hearts, like, again from this hand if we get the chance. Uh, if they cover, we'll win ace, and now we start pulling trumps. 
I mean, we're going to make game here. Uh, spades are 4 2. Could lose 2 or 3 clubs. And. Should be careful here. What if Trumper for 1? Like, do I want to play club ace club? I think I'm supposed to. It's match points, so I'm probably just supposed to pull another Trump. And they both follow. Which probably means play the third one. Because, like, clubs could be 3-3. Three, three. I may lose the lead twice, so we can't really play more trumps. And I want a hard entry to lob clubs up again. We're covering the 10, so only the jack is out. Now they have full count of my hand. I have no diamonds, four hearts, five spades. Uh, is the jack of clubs there? I don't think so, but, or they're out, or it's natural. Okay, so they jack four for clubs. They can't really do anything with ten jack four. So, made five, that's probably average, because, well, like, some people will bit game, and some people will last three arts in this hand, because they're just, like, not good evaluating, so that's probably, like, a 35%. Say forty percent, like I like I played it well. Can't really lose tricks though. I mean, people could do stupid things like play clubs first. I don't know. So we have a thirteen count, three, four, three, three. We're gonna go to heart. Partner raises. We have enough for game, but not enough for slam. We'll raise. Partner could be some four, four, three, two type hand generally, unless they're unbalanced with five clubs, four hearts. Uh, and, like, minimum on balance to wastage and, you know, spades or diamonds, uh, potentially. They lead queen, probably from, not from king of jacks, from shortness, because they don't have the jack. We have the jack, so I'm going to pop the ace and pray they don't have an entry. I potentially could have ducked the club once, because they might have a second club to continue for the rough. If they have the ace... I, if I dock, they could have also switched to their spade, so. Which is natural, because I can only, can't get rid of my spade loser. Goddamn. Uh, heart split. Can't get rid of this unless they dock, so I'm hoping the queen gets ducked. I make this if I dock once. Huh. But if I duck once, I could lose two clubs. So, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, if I duck, the queen holds, and I know the king is upside. So, I kind of have to rise. Yeah, ducking doesn't actually stop it, because then they, they just get an extra club. It's an extra trump. Uh, you know, my hope is just that it's singleton queen. Um... Can I get rid of my club loser? I don't have a long... If I like long diamonds to pitch a club, but maybe, like... So this is average. Say 50 is just like 50%. I'm not gonna... I'm only gonna estimate in, like, ranges of 5, so at the half, we're doing poorly. Uh, so we got 12 count, 4, 2, 5, 2... Uh, diamond doesn't consume space, but we have a good hand. Like, an overcall like this should either consume space, show a good hand, or show a good suit. Uh, I have a good hand, so we'll just overcall a diamond. Partner makes a simple raise. We'll just pass, because this isn't, like, game going. Uh, we will compete to three diamonds, because partner... Partner might just have three diamonds here. Let's see what West has. So West is, like, four, five, five, five arts, four spades. I don't think they really make anything. This is like not a fitted hand for them, but yeah. just lead our suit. That's unfortunate for us, but they probably don't have another diamond. Hopefully, they just have like a doubleton spade. Okay. 
That's your diamond. Diamonds are five, four, two, two. I'm gonna rise jack. It's only one spade out. Let's try to. Don't know who has the last spade. So we're guarding that. My heart's not high. A uh, partner is less bad. So hopefully partner, yeah, they just beat this on our lead. Great. It's like really no, we can get hard hard, but we don't go right. He has solid trumps. This is like such a weird hand. I don't know. Fifty five. We didn't do anything stupid there. A double. So we might get aggressive and double. I. It's, so it's like really annoying hands to predict. All right, 12 count, 4, 2, 2, 5. We're going to open this a club. Simple raise. We're going to float this because raising here shows extras, not just competitive. Um, in standard, this should really just be competitive. But in the robot system, this shows invitational extras. You have to pass first and give them a chance to bid, which is like really stupid. Uh, like you can always cubid to show like a forcing forward going hand. And partner doesn't have the ace because like they led low. Kind of an impasse. These are probably five four two two. Partner doesn't have five clubs, so we're just gonna hope they underled the ace. Completely screwed here. Play out in the jack too. I'm gonna play low here and pray we get a diamond somehow. We're just like protecting our tricks. We want to protect this. We want to protect our diamond. We're protecting our we want to protect our natural heart. If partner has like the queen or ace. Uh, we're just gonna like do good things. I uh, don't want to lead away from our spade because like West may have queen and one or something. So we're gonna lead a low heart. Try to make it ambiguous if uh partner is blasting a spade through for us, which is nice. Protect our spade trick. We're gonna clear our heart in case the partner's out of things, and we're gonna lob our spade now. So partner the jack of spades leading spades herself. This may not have been great. I think that's it though. Put on the jack of spades. Probably didn't matter because those hearts are pretty solid. They can knock out hearts themselves. Another board that's just kind of like we didn't lead away from our spades, so that's probably worth like sixty percent. Because there are bad players in these events that will lead away from their tricks. Uh just kind of like do sound stuff and protect your naturals. Uh, club lead really like did not help the cause. Spade is partner is like M played a trick one. Uh, like diamond gives them time to work on their hearts. Leading a club gives away a club trick. Leading a spade gives away a spade trick. Uh, leading a low heart helps them set up their long heart suit to pitch their clubs and spades. So like partner just is not played a trick one. I'm gonna say sixty five percent. Gonna be an optimist. Uh, 12 count, 2, 4, 3, 4. We're going to open this a club. Partner shows a forcing hand with hearts. We have a minimum of uh, heart support. Four card hearts support, in fact. Uh, King and one spade is probably weakened behind. the. This is a preemptive action showing the long spades. This is probably bad underneath the spade length, but what can you do? Uh, four trumps, hopefully, is good enough here. Uh, spades are probably like 6, 2, 3, 2. Like, often with an extra loser. Partner leads the ace, and there's nothing to this hand except lose a spade. Uh and take the diamond finesse. Uh the hand that's marked with heart short, if hearts break three out is West, because West had shown a six card suit. So we start with a little heart to the ace, just to protect against any bad breaks. I shoved the diamond through early. That loses, of course, and they're gonna they should grab their spade or forever hold their peace. Uh, now we get to get rid of the spade because they're bad. This is just stealing because they just, like, for some reason didn't think I had the Jack of Diamonds because of my weird false card. So, uh, this is like a 90% board for us. We just stole a trick we in no way deserved by being a little sneaky. I'm going to give this 95%, which is what we need to come back alive here a little bit. 17 and balancing seat one no shows like 11 to 15 16 so we have to double with these hands a two no direction is like 19 to 20 balance 
So with uh like seventeen and eighteen balance fifteen with like sixteen eighteen balance to double and did one no. Partners inviting. It says six seven points. Uh, I was just inclined. Oh, partner really shouldn't have a fifth heart. It can make a world of difference. I really don't like my shape. Ran more towards the low end. Like it says, I can be sixteen to twenty one, which is stupid. Ah, uh, because nineteen. I should be sixteen to eighteen. Bots evaluation is bad. I'm just trying to think. Like, let's counter tricks. So three. Uh, it's like a tentative stopper. Partner declare probably the next or opener probably does not six diamonds. So, what's actually happening here? So, like, I have six, I have five tricks. I mean, if hearts it up, hearts it up. Partner's hearts are over declare, which is good. Uh, if partner is like, you know, king, ten, four, that's probably three heart tricks. So, three, six, seven, eight. The put is pretty close. If partner really just has a shitty six count, like uh then this is just bad. I I think partner I robots didn't have like really bad hands here, or they would just be you know, so I'm just gonna trust that this is like a six count. Partner is a reasonable seven. I mean they could have taken out our diamond on the lead and you know uh have basically three diamonds and one or two natural hearts. We're just going to work on our club trick. Because we have an entry to dummy with the jack of spades. Club for four triple three, four and dummy. Four, eight, eleven, twelve. We'll pull the last spade. I'm here. Just go, go away. I'm finishing somewhere. Sorry. Uh, so pitched a diamond. Like he led a club. I think he's four triple. He does have five diamonds here at base king fifth. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's ace of hearts. So we're gonna establish our diamond and then play him for ace of hearts. So like West isn't showing up with anything of value. He leaves the Queen of Hearts here. They probably have one more. And we did make nine tricks, but this is like really hard to make nine tricks. Unless he has ace queen double ten, which he has ace queen ten third. So I'm predicting eighty five percent on that board. Like I think I did good things. Uh, so let's see the math here. How do how do I think we did? So sixty eighty one twenty one seventy. Uh. 225, 230, 290, uh, 293, 85, 390, uh, 470 over 4, whatever the, 470 over 8, whatever the hell that is. Uh, math is hard. I should remember how to do that, but let's just, long day. Not sleeping well. So I'm bridging like 59%. Let's see how that relates. Uh, not so well. We're getting really fucked on this hand in particular. I mean, these are tentative. But... Okay, we matched the first one. 25, 55. I think this is like pretty normal not to game force on three. Like, you have a fucking six six count with presumably a cross diamond wastage, but like uh it's just like very shitty. Like this is a bad double ten. Like I don't know what people are bidding people are just bidding three arts on that hand, I guess. Which is bad to me. Uh and then this is below average for no reason. Twenty five percent for like a pretty normal 
contract, like you belong. It's very clear for arts, and it goes down one. Uh, 55% here, 65% here, three diamonds making. Uh, I thought stealing this over trick was great, but apparently it wasn't. And then, even though I did all this hard work, not like leaving hearts too early on eight, I still. I'm only getting 67%. So, I mean, really, it's just this one board. You can see my, like, estimations are pretty good. I just missed one guess. And, you know, in these in these tournaments, like, each board is worth, like, 13%. So, like, you know, I'm... When I think I did closer to 40, and I got a zero, uh, I can skip the result. Uh, unfortunately, like, by, you know, uh, at least, like, five percentage points. Uh, so, unfortunately, just not getting much luck here. This was three boards less than what I pretty much estimated. Uh, pretty high skew with, um, only eight boards. So, uh, let me know what you think of this video. Uh, may start for my more videos. I'm getting more likes to the channel, so I'm gonna try doing more content. So, hope y'all enjoyed. Having a good afternoon. And I will catch you next time. Hope you picked up something today. Take care.